Okay, now what we're going to look at is outstanding debt. Very similar to balance using the AMT function and PM1 and PM2, like we did in future value annuities. We're going to put it inside a loan question and see the difference that it makes. So let's have a look. You borrow a quarter of a million dollars to buy a house and plan to pay it back over 25 years. The rate's 5.6% compounding monthly. We want you to calculate the minimum monthly repayments needed to pay off the loan. So how much will you pay to get rid of that loan? Then, what's the outstanding balance? Or what's the debt after six years? And then after six years, you're able to change the loan to have a new one, which is at 4.4%. What are your new monthly repayments going to be? So it's a change in interest rate, so you want to see what you can save. We have to work out the original payment, and you just do that using NIPV payment, which you've done before. When you do that, you'll have an answer of $1,550.18. So, how do we work out the outstanding debt? Now, this is using the AMT function, and there are two steps to it. So we'll go through the two steps. Step number one, put in what you know, PM1, PM2, NI. The NIPV payment future value in those ones are all taken from the question before, so the calculator remembers them. Then your payment one is going to be the first payment, and payment two will be six times by 12, because you're looking at the sixth year, and there are 12 patterns per year. Put this into the calculator, hit balance, which is F1, and you have an answer of $217,271.22. That is what you owe after six years. Right, so what do we do then? Step two, after six years, you're able to fix the loan. So you're going to go back to the normal window and start again. So if you push F4, you'll come back to the normal window that we start with. So then you have to alter the N and the I and the PV. So you're actually changing three things. You're changing how much time you've got left on the loan, the rate, and your pay PV. Your PV is actually the balance that you've just worked out. So you have to work, write that down so that you can just transfer it into there. On your calculator, it'll look like this when you get the answer. And a little nifty way of actually working out the number of years left is you just go 25, take away 6, times by 12, that's your new N, I is 4.4, present value is the balance that you worked out, and you're trying to work out your payment. And when you do that, you get $1,407.78, or 79 cents. So you are actually saving money, not only because the interest rate's lowering, but you've actually got a lower balance. So the tricks are remembering to reduce the loan term, changing the rate, and putting the balance in as PV.